What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect Steam to any other device in your house. Um, in this video I'm going to do it on my phone, but uh, you can use another computer, a laptop, um, a Steam Link if you still have one, or any mobile device to connect to your Steam library and use the full processing power of your computer to render it on that device, even if it's a slower device. So um, it's a really cool feature, and we're going to go over how to set it up today. We just go into Steam itself and click on Steam and go to Settings. Inside Settings, we're going to go to Remote Play. And I'm going to disable this here just so we can um, do it from scratch and start it brand new. I'm going to enable Remote Play and unpair all these devices. All right, so now there's no devices paired and we've enabled it. But we need to set up some um, settings first. So let's set a security code. I'm just going to set mine to one, two, three, four. You can change this at any time. And we're going to um, choose some host options. And um, on our other device, we're going to choose client options. So we want to enable direct connections. Allow that. And then for host options, we have all of these different settings. For play audio and host, this will essentially play audio on the computer that you're streaming from. So if you're playing on your phone, it's not going to be coming out of your phone. It's going to be coming out of your computer. So turn this off if you want to hear it from your phone, um, but leave it on if you have a nice sound system and want it coming out of there instead. Um, you can change the desktop resolution to match the streaming client. I don't generally recommend this, though it can speed things up. If you're playing on a 720 display, for example, but your computer is on 1080, you might actually get better frames and performance if you do this. But um, I generally turn that off and just adjust the um, dimensions manually. Um, dynamically adjust capture resolution to improve performance. You do want to do this. Um, if your network speed is starting to get congested, it will lower the quality of the video you're getting to your phone, but it will keep the frame rate up so you can still kind of play without losing. And then um, as the quality increases, it will increase that resolution as well, and you'll be able to use that at full resolution again. Um, so generally enable this. Hopefully it never has to kick in, but if it does, you'll be set in the gaming side of it. Um, and then if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you want to use this here. Um, and you want to enable hardware encoding. So hardware encoding ensures you're going to use your GPU instead of your CPU, and that's generally recommended on most computer systems. So the encoding you want to enable is based on what you have. So I have an AMD GPU, so I'm going to turn off NVIDIA and Intel iGPU, and I'm just going to leave AMD um, on because that's the one I want to use. And then number of software encoding threads, we could leave this as automatic, or enable all threads to run, but automatic generally does a pretty good job. And you do want to enable um, prioritize network traffic. If you have a router that supports uh, QoS or quality of service, it will prioritize this traffic on your network and make it um, a lot smoother of an experience, especially if other people are using the internet at the time. So now that we've set up all the options, we need to um, actually set it up and pair it on our phone, right? So on our phone, you're gonna, let me start recording on here. Okay, so I'm recording on my phone and I'm gonna open a Steam Link. You can get this from the App Store or Google Play Store, whichever device you have, it's on iOS and Android. And then when you're in Steam Link, you want to uh, choose computer, and we're going to scan for computers, and choose the selected computer. Once we've done so, we can click on start playing, and it's going to ask us to enter a pin on our screen, and you'll see that it showed up here. We're going to enter 4761 and press OK. And now we can enter on our phone our password for uh, the remote computer, which is one, two, three, four. And we're going to connect. All right, so we can see that uh, the library showed up there. 
And on our phone, it's now connected as well. And we can control the mouse with our phone and go from there. Um, you can also connect a Bluetooth controller to this just by going into your Bluetooth settings and hitting pair. And then on your controller, holding down the connect button for about five seconds until it starts flashing and pairing it in the app itself. And those will all work with your phone to play any of your local Steam games. Uh, let me know what device you want me to make a video showing how to play on because I know that the setup is uh, slightly different on uh, if you're doing it on another computer, on a Windows machine, on a Mac, on a Steam Link. I do have one of those still. Uh, if you want to see any of those videos specifically, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and be sure to hit that sub and like and thanks button below. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too and it's called stream savers. It's available for pre-order right now for $9.99 and that's a great price.